What is something that you are never fucking buying again? A cast iron pan. It's not that I hate it. Quite the converse. I love the thing. I just never need to buy another one because this will last me the rest of my life and the lives of my grandchildren. A dinosaur bed set with matching curtains. Because these bad boys are going to last me a lifetime. Removed. Removed. One time I tried making jalapeno popcorn by putting jalapeno slices into my popcorn maker. I thought I was so clever. Till the air in my house got too spicy to breathe in everyone's eyes burned. Removed. My fiancé wants a boat. I want a friend with a boat. Edit. She is not demanding a boat. She just said it would be nice to have one someday. I reminded her that we have friends with a boat who rarely use it and sink lots of money into it. A parking pass for concerts taking an Uber from now on. Say hello to surge pricing when you try to leave. One time it was $60 for a $15 ride that it took to get there. Driver here, I shouldn't let you know this. But if you walk a bit and wait like half an hour, you can order from a place that's outside the surge. So take your time getting out. It'll only cheapen the longer you wait. Edit. Rip inbox. Edit. Holy fucking shit this blew up. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Edit. After taking inventory of my reddits. This is my top post of all time. I avoided a 4x surge once by walking 5 minutes. Which was stupid. Because my work was paying for the Uber. A fucking sleep number mattress. Piece of shit is like sleeping on an air mattress and after a little while the sides lose their integrity so the only comfortable spot becomes broken down. Forked out a lot of cash for that stupid mattress. The only one who seemed to like it was the cat. Same here, right out of the box. I was inflating it and the nozzle popped out. Had to sleep on the floor till they shipped a new one. Then went through three replacements because they all would lose air and deflate overnight. That place is definitely a front. No one is ever in the stores. I don't know another person who does or has ever owned one. Total scamisure, oven mid from the dollar store. I don't know how but I think it actually intensified the heat. Bargain Q-tips. That feeling when you pull the Q-T-I-P out and it no longer has the cotton on it. Oh hell no. Anything that says, hi, I'm Peppa Pig snort and has no fucking off button. I'm a powerful dump truck. I rumble down the road. Moving my load from here to T-H-E-Z-E-E-R-E. -E -E -E. Removed. Basically in anything sugar-free you have to watch out for maltitol cause if you consume too much you will be shitting out your soul. Definitely the worst artificial sweetener. Furniture from a discount furniture store. The wood is so soft that I got several splinters from accidentally scraping my thumbnail on it. And my bed frame was not meant to be taken back apart at all. I'm surprised it survived the move. But it's definitely not making it through another. I swear every time you move everything you own degrades in quality by like 5%. Definitely at least 5%. This bed frame. It was more like 50%. It's one of those which are basically a wood box all the way to the floor. With drawers for storage. The drawers were literally made so that they don't come back apart without breaking the masseur. I'll also never buy a bed frame like that again. The lack of airflow underneath traps a ton of heat. I used to wake up sweating. Even when it was like 50 degrees Fahrenheit in my apartment. Well there's your problem right there. You got a bed from a sir, you gotta pay extra for that. E. Removed. I bought 500 crickets once. Had a bearded dragon and figured I'd save money by keeping them myself. I had them in one of those plastic critter keepers. One morning I came out and the thing was swarmed with ants. I'm not afraid of bugs but I fucking hate ants. The ants were small enough to fit through the slats at the top of the tank but the crickets weren't. So they were going in, dismembering my crickets and carrying them out piece by piece. A nightmare. That is horrifying. Why? I'm trying to figure out why you'd need to buy 500 ladybugs. I mean I can see a farmer buying them for pest control or something but I figure aesthetics wouldn't factor into that decision. They eat aphids.
It's a decent solution even for an amateur garden. Diapers. Also, a vasectomy. PSH. Look at this guy. Only getting one vasectomy. Snip snap snip snap snip snap. You have no idea the physical toll of having three vasectomies has on a man. Condoms they always go past the expiration date before I get to use one. Ask this guy have 35 months left. Fingers crossed. There's a great onion article that made me laugh out loud once. It was titled, Man Unwittingly Buys Lifetime Supple of Condoms. The article's photo shows a man about to purchase just one box. Moroccan asterisk KHLII asterisk. This stuff is basically raw meat that is left to rot. Not dry. Rot. In the sun, and then packed in fat. I learned about it watching Andrew Zimmern try some on asterisk bizarre foods asterisk. He eats all sorts of nasty things but he could not stomach this stuff. That should have been all I needed to not try it myself. But I read a blog post by some other celebrity chef type who said KHLII isn't really rotten meat. And it isn't that bad and that Zimmern was basically a pussy. So I ordered a pound of it online and made an omelet with it as recommended. Long story short it's just literally rotten meat. I never even got to the point of attempting to eat it. The smell alone was just so horrifying. I had to throw out the pan I cooked it in and leave the windows open. In the middle of winter. All night. And even then the smell stuck around for days. Don't do it, kids. Greater than Zimmern was basically a pussy. I've seen that guy eat raw cow placenta off the ground. If he's not willing to eat something, I don't even want to be in the same room as it. Hopefully heroin lol edit my highest rated comment and first goal, thanks heroin. If you seriously kicked it, I hope so as well my friend. Almost 8 weeks clean off of benzos, heroin, and coke. A Samsung refrigerator. Specifically the one with the TV on it. Damn thing is operated by Bixby and won't link up with anything except other Samsung products. It looks so promising, but man, it is the worst. OMG fuck Bixby. I'm so sorry, I've got an S9, and Bixby is built in. It's even got its own little button on the side. Why? Samsung? Off-brand toilet paper. Never skimp on toilet paper quality. Life's too short for single-ply toilet paper. Anything from Wish? Hey man I got some bootleg amiibo cards from Wish and they're a treat. Lairond of Zelda printed on the Monsieur Things of Beauty. Oh shit I didn't know these were on there. Time to order some for free, with $10 USD shipping. A friend of mine ordered a smart wallet to see how long it would take for his cards to be skimmed. 48 hours. It took 48 hours before they started siphoning money off his prepaid credit card. He had about $25 on it. Specifically to see if it would happen. Edit. I wanted to clarify, that the wallet itself was skimming the card details. The wallet had GPS and wireless connectivity. Our best guess, at present, is that it skimmed the details and uploaded them as your somewhere. Basically he tested it by purchasing a $25 prepaid CC which had underscore never been used underscore. Placed it in the new smart wallet and waited. Typically you will see enable deductions on the card. From 50c to a few dollars. They do this to test the waters and see if it gets disputed. When it doesn't, bam they start siphoning and installments are all in one go. Cigarettes. One week and counting. It's for real this time. Edit for those asking. 12 years a smoker. Went cold turkey last week and managed managing cravings by smoking an invisible cigarette which works much better than it sounds because of 12 years of muscle memory. Edit 2 thanks for the gold. I didn't think this would get any attention and I've been answering replies for the last few hours. Now, thanks to everyone offering support and advice. Those pink, frosted animal crackers, good as all hell, but I ate way too many when I was younger and I still get sick even to this day when I think about it. That's me with marzipan, basically pure almond and sugar paste. Popular in Germany around Christmas.
It's actually really good and I used to love it as a kid. But then I ate way too much in one day and now I can't stand it anymore. Removed. Specifically, the cheapest bicycle at Walmart. A brand new adult-sized bike shouldn't cost $89 unless it's 1978. I really want to know what the op bought that angered them enough to ask this question. Bad TP? Or maybe a Reddit Gold IDK? Reddit Gold sucks. All it does is let you access a Facebook e sub and gives Reddit more money. The only benefit is no ads. But then you miss out on the copy pastas. X-ray glasses. Purchased them from the back of a comic book years ago. A cat bed. I can use a box from an Amazon package and get much better results. I will never buy the first year run of a new model of car. I will make sure the model has had a few years to work the kings out. Edit. In case anyone was wondering. I bought my wife a Chevy Sonic when they first came out. So many little things have broken in that car. Mostly small inconvenient stuff, but some not so small. The worst was a crack in the air intake hose that was very hard to find. It's also obviously leaking coolant. Yet nobody can find the leak. So many small electronic things having to be replaced. I've always found my Chevy vehicles to be very reliable. But not this one. Never again. Yes. Got an 07 Mustang. Turns out after approximately 5 years most people's gas tanks stop filling correctly. You can only fill mine if you put the handle in upside down and on the slowest auto setting. Looks so stupid. A student passed for the pool on the 4th floor. Asterisk this school doesn't even have a 4th floor, asterisk. Edit. No. I did not go to your school. At least it's highly unlikely. This is a thing that happens at damn near every school. Reminds me of Wayside School. 30 stories high, but missing the 19th floor. Greater than the school had been accidentally built, sideways. It was supposed to be only one story high, with 30 classrooms all in a row. But when the builder constructed Wayside School, he built it 30 stories high, with one classroom on each floor. He said that he was sorry. Great books. There is no 19th story. There is no Miss Zarves. Sorry, ETA. My highest rated comment is about Miss Zarves. Yes. Mexican food anywhere without a large Mexican population. Who the hell thinks chicken fajitas are a baked chicken breast in a plate of diced green peppers? Slathered with marinara. Someone in Illinois who owns a great Mexican restaurant. Apparently. And. No. Salsa isn't canned tomato sauce. FFS. Edit. I chose fajitas because I thought they'd be safe in an unknown situation. The alternatives were significantly sketchier. We were in Chicago. Man our underscore only underscore Mexican restaurant is owned and run by Chinese people. They cook good food. Don't get me wrong. But I have a sneaking suspicion that it is decidedly underscore not underscore authentic Mexican food. Haha. <laughs> Back when I lived in Manhattan there was a Mexican takeout spot run by Chinese people that was around the corner from a Mexican run Chinese takeout. Edit. I love how the replies suggest this scenario is playing out multiple times throughout the borough. A parking pass for college. When I did my generals at the local CC it was only 40 bucks a year. At the university I'm transferring to they want $200 a year. My student ID lets me ride the bus for free and I can find free parking about 10 minutes away from campus. My parking for both semesters is $700. My friends at UC would have to pay almost a grand. It's real BS. Those new chili lime Doritos things. I like spicy stuff, and have gotten accustomed to things being labeled spicy that aren't really spicy. But those things are deceitful. The first one isn't hot. The second isn't hot. The third isn't hot. The fourth one isn't hot. It's not until half the bag is gone. And that shit is good and caked in your mouth that it turns your mouth into Satan's asshole after a Taco Bell run. And by then, it's too late. Sad. Because they actually taste really good before it happens. You should try Takis, my friend. Beats headphones. 
The hate on Reddit is legit. They only lasted a year. Edit, rip my inbox. I purchased them on BestBuy.com thanks to a President's Day sale in which they were 40% off. I was desperate for noise-canceling headphones and didn't do much research. They were great while they lasted except the charge port stopped working properly and I could no longer charge them consistently. The port eventually gave out. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.